Don't miss the award-winning thriller Edge of Darkness in an hour. First, the start of our wartime drama, The Fourth Arm. See the Bosch convoy? Yes. The old quarries? Yes. I want to have a look. What do you know about the place? Only what I see, which isn't much. The Germans are using it for some sort of depot. But why not? Strong, sheltered. A depot? For what? 
None of my business. It is your business. You are the leader in this area. Oh. Is it safe to go out there? No. I shall go anyway. Why the sudden interest, Lombois? Is it because of what they did to your bookshop? Forget it, Lombois. I'll not risk my comrades. <laughs> then I shall go by myself. Au revoir, Pierre. Hey, Meet me by the old barn in half an hour. Now, you're too clumsy. There's a minefield. Half the Bosch minefields are just a bluff. We both know that. Long what? What do you think those are? Pin cushions. I live.
I think we can congratulate ourselves on that one, Alex. Of course, the RAF did a splendid job. Well, uh, any uh, report from resistance sources, is there? Not as of 900 this morning, sir. I gather from Jacques Grand that there's a scared from the Brittany area at 1600. Might have something by then. Yeah. Monsieur Grand would like to see you, sir. Uh, when does he want? He's in the office, sir. It seems to be urgent. Oh, good morning, Jacques. Good morning, Grand. Oh, come here. Good, good morning. morning. I'll take a few. I have received this report from one of our people in the Chanty area. It may be the missing piece we've been waiting for. A drink, monsieur? Thank you, a small one. Oh, thank you, Alex. Uh-huh. Oh, now, this man, Lambra, is he uh, reliable? Oh, yes, completely. Well, it all ties up, then, doesn't it? Uh, those rats we've seen on the part of Cata and the Belgian coastline, the Pina Munda business. Jack, uh, what is your view? Oh, I agree. There are too many coincidences for it to be a coincidence. No, this is the new weapon. Yes, but why there? I shan't hear. It's a very long way from the part of Calais. Yeah, it's also a long way from the commando raids from off-coast shelling. Besides, the part of Calais is largely chalk and soft earth. Oh, now, you think this is, what, some sort of dump? Possibly. Possibly more than that. It is reasonable to assume that the components for whatever it is are fabricated in several places. They have to be assembled, as well as stockpiled. We agree the coast is too vulnerable. Why not Picardy? It is logical. There's also the report we had from the Resistance. Convoys of heavy vehicles coming through the Vosges, heavily guarded. The report implied small aircraft or rockets. As you say, it all fits together. Jack, keep me informed. I'll bring it up with Joint Intelligence to the next week. Good. But quickly, I think, Colonel. There may not be much time. Monsieur. Thank you. You think that's the same thing the Amiens Rezo was talking about? Well, there's not very much doubt about it, don't you? Uh, when is the next JRC meeting? Tomorrow morning, sir. Good. I think Jack may be right. Now, there may not be very much time. Here. Hold him. Hold him. No. Hold. Hold. Ah! Sorry for the pain I've caused you, monsieur. We have few drugs and no possibility of an anesthetic here. Here. Bandage. Tightly. Come around. You have not been here, Doctor. Can he be moved? It's absolutely necessary. There's danger of gangrene. He should have hospital attention. He could die. Au revoir. Au revoir. So, we're asking for a strike, Fury. High level, precision job. I have JRC approval. I'll let you have the uh, paperwork in due course. Very well, sir. I'll make the request for a raid and get back on to you. You do realize HQ Bomber Command has an established list of priorities? Yes, yes, of course. But there's a matter of some urgency on this one. Right. Uh, yes. Monsieur Graham to see you, sir. Ah, good. Harry, come in, will you? Now, you alert your masters at High Wycombe. Tell them there's a memo from Winston in the pipeline. Very good, sir. Ah, oh, Jack, you know uh, Fielding, I think? Ah, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I was just leaving. Sir? Monsieur Grand. Oh, uh, forgive me. Uh, Fielding, sir? you draft a signal to bomber command for the appropriate attack on that type of target. And uh, I'd like to go through the draft with this in about ten minutes. Sir. Ah. Oh. Ah, usual. Oh, well, thank you. It's comforting to know we may command our own private bombing raids, Colonel. Mm -hmm. And frightening. Yes, we, uh, we have a call on Bomber Command for special demolition jobs and on the special duty squadron for our type of work. Well, uh, what do they say? Yes, there's no problem. 
But about the site, we have almost no information except to say we know it exists. Well, can't you get your resistance people to drum up something? I'm afraid not, Colonel. So you intend to send in bombers? Yes, we try that first. Oh, no, Jack. Well, if this raid is successful, it might do the trick for the moment. Well, towns and villages, they're miles away from the target area. No danger to French civilians? Apart from the people who work in the complex. Well, if they're working for Jerry, they got scant sympathy from me. They don't always do it willingly, Colonel. But I agree, it is necessary. Right. Now, mm. I want to fly your man, Lambois, back from France, because we need to talk to him. Agreed? Of course. But there is a problem you may not be aware of. Lambois was wounded in the leg. It is not possible to have him treated openly. The Germans regard bullet wounds as confirmation of treachery, which it is, of course. He needs hospital treatment. Well, it's all the more reason to fly him back. And so, the only cloud in the target area will be Cirrus, at around 20,000 feet. Not enough for a three-quarter moon. Gentlemen. Command, attach the utmost importance to this attack and to put a master bomber in to do the marking. Precision is the ticket. I do not want any bombs outside CP plus 250. Gentlemen, all I can add is this could be a most vital target, possibly the most vital you have tackled. Colonel. Thank you. We don't know how effective this bombing is going to be against this underground complex. It's possible your armor-piercing bombs will get through into storage areas, set off a chain reaction amongst fuel and explosives. But we believe this is a new, frightening secret weapon. Gentlemen, we need to destroy it. but Newnham are quite unable to give an evaluation of the result. I see. What about these steel doors? They seem intact to us. The photographs seem to indicate business as usual. Well, thank you very much. Sir. I don't think we're going to bomb them out, Newnham. Rather looks that way, sir. What about resistance? No. Not in this case. Neither our region. Oh, thank you very much. It's my baby now. Sir. I want to speak to Major Gallagher, please. SAP. Sorry. The real question is, do we do this one ourselves, or do we make it a joint operation with the Free French? That depends on who you're sending in. Gallagher. Gallagher? Yes, yes, he knows the area, and it's his sort of job. No, now, I think we keep this one to ourselves. The fewer people who know about it, the better. Now, you better grade it top secret from now on. Copies for the French? No, not for the moment. Yes. 
Major Gallagher, sir. Oh, thank you, Spooner. Send him in, will you? Yes, sir. Major. Good morning, Gallagher. Well, you know we can, I think. Major. Sit down. I'm sending you into France, somewhere between Chantilly and Saint-Lys. I want you to take a look at something that the Germans are building. I'll make your assessment with a view to taking a team of experts and getting rid of it. Now, I tried to bomb that, and it doesn't work. My information is it's been used as a, a stone quarry. And apparently, there is a, a workable seam of stone which is sandwiched between limestone. And apparently, it was used to... Uh, Repair Amiens Cathedral back in 1905. However, we must assume that Jerry has enlarged the original, developed underground storage areas for, well, whatever it is that he's stockpiling. Now, we want to know what that is, the best way of destroying it, and quite quickly. Now, there's one other thing. Now, weren't you out in France in uh, 1940? Yes, sir. I was seconded as liaison officer to General Vacheron. Then special duties sent me out there again 18 months ago. Is there anyone likely to recognize? Not south of Piccadilly proper. Good. Hey, you leave for RAF tune tonight. Now, oh, there's a brief appraisal for you. Oh, well, Wicked can fill you out on the way to the station. Sir? Oh, uh, while you're here, some uh, photo recce prints I'd like you to look at. Right, sir. My code name is Gepard. You've been told I was coming, Monsieur de Grouchy. I'm here for two reasons. First, I've come to see this underground complex the Germans are using. London knows I do not activate my réseau until the invasion is established. I do not change that for any reason. You mean I'll get no help from you? From me? Perhaps. From the réseau? Nothing. Right. Second reason I'm here is to see Monsieur Paul Lombois. They tell me he has a smashed up leg. I am Lombois. My message was for de Gaulle, not the British. Why haven't they sent a Frenchman? Because they sent me. The Look, if you want to continue the Hundred Years' War, that's fine by me. Just let's finish this one first. All you do is send the RAF to bomb the caves. You might as well spit on a forest fire. I'm not arguing. That's why I'm here now. I'm going to look at the place myself and decide how it's to be destroyed. Then I'm taking you back to London. Ha! Can we go and look at the place now? Marin. Put two bikes against the back wall, then disappear until I call for you. You got some of that burnt acorn stuff they call coffee these days. I haven't had any breakfast. No. Now, if you please, Monsieur Lombois, tell me what you saw and exactly what happened. 